I'm Barry Sandoval from Heritage Auctions. We've got so much good stuff in this auction, I'm going to dispense with all formalities and get right to the highlights. Here's the Curator Pedigree run of Fantastic Four. You saw the number three behind me a second ago. Here's the number five with the first appearance of Doctor Doom and the number four with the first modern appearance of the Submariner. Check out the whole run on our website. In terms of Golden Age, here's a Detective Comics number 27, the first Batman, which is one of two that we have in this auction, and also a Detective Comics 33. This is one of the top 20 comics in the hobby, and it's the first telling of Batman's origin. Captain America Comics number one is one of the classic covers of all time. Take that, Hitler. That's Jack Kirby and the late Joe Simon doing the art honors on that one. And here's a Mickey Mouse magazine that's notable for being the best copy that we've ever seen of this key issue. As you can see, it's oversized, uh, so less have survived in nice condition than the regular comic size. Now we've got an amazing collection of ash cans in this sale. If you're not familiar with the term and don't know what these ultra rare items are, check out the full explanation on our website and here's the most notable one of the bunch, Action Funnies. In our original art section, this is John Romita Sr. Spider-Man Annual number three. It's basically a who's who of Marvel right there on the cover. Another Marvel great was Steve Ditko, and this is Spidey in action against the Circus of Crime, and we've got other Ditko art in the auction as well. Moving over to DC Silver Age, this is Carmine Infantino and Murphy Anderson, Mystery in Space number 83. This is in the larger twice-up size, and it features Adam Strange from 1963. Here's the spirit, the Silver Age spirit that is, with art by his creator Will Eisner. And now we come to John Byrne. If you were a big X-Men fan back then, you remember this great storyline of the X-Men taking on the Hellfire Club. You'll love this Byrne and Austin page, and we've got other choice John Byrne art in this auction as well. We also have a healthy selection of Frank Miller art, and a special bonus is that Frank Miller consigned his own art to this auction and he will be making an appearance on Lot Viewing Day in New York on the 21st, so you can come by and say hi to him. Robert Crumb is represented in a large selection as usual, and here's his cover for The People's Comics, and that heads up a large Crumb selection, as we so often have. And of special note is this Calvin and Hobbes piece by Bill Watterson. You may know that Watterson never let any of his original art go and you just can't find published pieces. In 10 years of auctioning comic art, we'd only ever had one specialty piece from him, never a published piece. And this was used in one of the calendars and of course the strip is one of the most beloved uh, strips of the 80s, if not of all time. So that's one of the absolute auction highlights. Now, these were my favorites, but that wasn't even 1% of the auction. You're sure to have your own favorites, so log on to HA.com and check out all 1,800 lots in the sale.